Close your eyes. And God, we just thank you for this trip that we're on, God, and the blessings that you've given us. These beautiful hey, girls. Hey. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 When the drive is starting to look familiar. Hi, friends. Change from Swiss cheese to Parmesan. Green. No. Uh, I'm very excited about exacting revenge on my Canadian, not French, Canadian friend who so snootily told me that it's not a chocolate croissant, but that it's a vintage chicken wrap. And I will be going back there and Suzanne will be filming the interaction. And I'm just trying to decide if I'm actually going to order a chocolate croissant or a pain de chocolat. Do you know I went in the bathroom by myself? Why? I'm so sorry, Amari scratched your face pretty bad, didn't she? No, no, Amari! Amari! You want to try one of these? Yeah, I was wondering what you're doing over there. These are local berries, they're really good. Mountain berries, and you can literally wash them right there. Hello, France. Oh, look at the pool right there. <laughs> what do we have here? Is that her daddy? Yeah. He is one stud muffin of a daddy. He has <laughs> booty shorts. This little girl's named Chelsea, and this is named Ken. And then, um, and then the mom one is named Barbie, and the big kid is named Stacy. And Skipper? No, there's no Skipper. <laughs> yeah, there was. When I was a kid, there was a Skipper. The French just know how to do oh, oh, furniture. Oh, yeah. They get it. They get this antique preserving the beauty of the past with a little bit of the new. Teeny, come here. Waiting for you to shine People pleasantly ride Does it feel like I belong to This is a rare sighting. Me in a robe at the spa. So Stevie actually surprised me. I came back from my run and he got me a massage. Oh my god, just got done with that massage and wow. Stevie, you're the best. He just knows what I need even when I don't realize I need it, you know? We just got some cheese, wine, charcuterie goods from Le Refuge Payon. I know I didn't say that right. Time. I got the Parmesan, the same exact one we got last time. We got jam, we got chocolate, we got wine, we got a baguette. Mm. FaceTiming Lucy right now. Jackson, we're making a surprise. It's Blippi. We're making a Blippi cake. She's so killing me. This is the plum dessert that they brought us. He knocked on her door again and said happy anniversary, which it's not our anniversary, but I I don't know. I hope they didn't make a mistake and that wasn't for somebody else. We ha we cannot go to sleep until we try the fresh Parmesan we bought today. How do you get this thing with off the, Oh, with the raspberry jam. And I what is it? I don't know. It's, it's from the garden. It's a plum. She said they grow it in the Only garden. Mommy and Daddy brings me, not Amari. Because she was already asleep. A little bite of now this. Now she's mm, asleep. Wow. Amari's asleep. Wow. Wait. That plum is good. Mmm. 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 This is the worst angle, but I'm having the best time. We're halfway done with our trip, and I'm like sad. We're. Done with Switzerland, we're here in France, and it's bittersweet because, like, I love France, but I also right. am sad that we had to say bye to Switzerland. Swiss miss. We got the discount. Dude, look rate. at those curtains. We need those. Pretty hot. That's kind of a vibe. I like boucle. BT and Fifi. All right, let's put a teeny yeah, to bed and yeah. eat our Parmesan. Oh, gosh. Why do you keep doing this? Okay. All right, what's on the agenda today? As soon as I. Finish feeding Master P her <laughs> cereal. That's a very important unfinished business to take care of. Let me cut to camera two. <clears throat> Tonight. You need to look up the camera and let go. Oh. Tonight. Tonight. Breaking news. Steve Hendricks reporting live from Chamonix, France, where there was an incident regarding a pen and some chocolat. <laughs> Back to you, Steve. Thanks, uh, Bill. You know, when I think back to that day, years ago, and how rude, how rude. To not even be French, but to be Canadian. Mm -hmm. She's probably not there anymore. She doesn't even get to tell me. What are you gonna tell her? 
Well, if I see her, I'm trying to decide between if I'm gonna say, hi, can I have a chocolate croissant? Or if I can just bring up the whole scenario and be like, ah, it's here a couple hey, years mommy. ago. You look pretty rude. Listen, Master P doesn't like that kind of negativity at her table. Oh my gosh, Amari, I'm sorry. One day you're gonna get revenge. I think this is a healing for you, a healing process. Oh, it's not a healing, it's a revenge. <laughs> As I pour orange juice into my coffee cup. I don't force anything. Mm. Go up, order a chocolate croissant, and if the cashier speaks English and is kind, I would just say, I have a funny story to share with you. Is that girl still here? If she goes, if I go, hi, can I have a chocolate croissant? She goes, I told you. I <laughs> shut up. Do you remember what she looks like? Yes, I do. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. Everybody knows that sound. Daddy's crazy. Well, headed to the cafe. Am I nervous? I am. I see it. Get behind that wall. That's literally her. I was wondering, do you guys have any uh, pan de chocolat? Yeah. I have one chocolate. Do people come in here and order them and call them uh, chocolate croissants? Yeah. You know, when you go to Starbucks, you know, they just call it a chocolate croissant. <laughs> That's the problem. I was visiting France before and I ordered a chocolate croissant and somebody was like, no, 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 it's pan au chocolat. I said, ah. Oh. So I had to learn. Here you are in France because some parts French, but I think Oh, okay. See, I'm learning more every day. Things like that was her, that's what shook me. But I have to tell you, this may be the best pan au chocolat I've ever had in my life. This is how you keep kids distracted on a four-hour drive. One day, Tiago and Frederic were out playing when they saw their other friend, Skippy! He's like... And the reason Skippy was saying... Is because Skippy's the kind of dog that runs around until he can't Wait, run can anymore, you, and then he just sits there again? and he goes... <laughs> and they all said, hey, that looks like a really small dog. Oh my gosh, when in France, there's a lot where I stand. All my friends were inside, told me that I should find some love. I've been walking around, trying to catch you with my hands. There's no one in the heart, but I guess it's a star. After a long night of eating more pasta. I don't know how much more pasta I can eat, if I'm being honest. Somebody give me a steak and a salad. Now we are heading to a town called Avignon. Avignon. I just want to apologize to any of my amazing French online fam following us if I'm butchering your city's names. Anyways, we're going to the town of, <laughs> bless you. We're going to the town of Avignon. Can you guys even hear me? I'm just gonna stop adding to the noise of the car. Whoa, you guys. You wanna know what's in it? Show daddy what's inside your bag. What's, what's in there? The pass. The pass is in there. Can you go get Brett a big hug? Go give her a hug, go give her a hug. Hey Brett! <laughs> Aww. Hi. What up, Brit? Oh, you got so cute. She's taking a mid dance bite. One of the best things about this trip, whether it was in Switzerland or here, Anywhere that we'd been before with Teenie in 2019, she was exactly Amari's age. So to see them doing it together, to see Amari, Teenie's age, and now how much older Teenie is, it's pretty cool. I just say, Stevie is like being a little salty. I think that I'm riding with you in your rental car, yeah, top so he's down, a jelly. and he's stuck with the kids. And I said we were gonna take turns. <laughs> I mean, he's. Thumbsing down, wow. 
just gotta show you guys the French gas stations, okay? On another level. Cheers. Cheers. And I promised you guys that we were gonna try some snacks. These are my pick. So we don't Sweet know. chili pepper. And I wanna see if the nacho cheese Doritos are legit here. It tastes the same as the US. They say you can't go wrong with hair. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be like a licorice strawberry. Uh-uh. No? Mm -hmm. Coke. Try the Coke. Okay. It's the best. What? I'm the like, Coca-Cola gummy is like... It's out. Does it taste different? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and so on that good. note... We made it to St. Paul, but what? St. Paul? The oh, Paul? I've been walking around I got some kind of Thai dish, which I don't know if I'm going to have a French food. Yeah, why'd you get Thai food at a French I don't French know, it just food. sounded good. Oh, because I'm over the baguettes. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Oh, wow, Sazzy Bear. I'm sad we're going home. We're not. No, but we are in like a week. This is so bib chic. Look. Look at the olive trees. I want to live here. We really have not come up here during the day yet. Which is when we should be doing oh, this part of the vlog. Out. They can't see anything. We're coming back. Back during the day. You just have to come and see it for yourself. We'll come back tomorrow. I'll bring you back. I just, I'm in my feels tonight. And I just want to okay. say, if you're watching this video, I love you. Steve, put it up. I appreciate you. Okay, There's let's... been times I've lost my patience with the girls just because we're all <laughs> together all the time and they're so demanding at times. But it's been so sweet getting to like if you... bond with them on a whole nother level. <laughs> okay, now walk off alone down those steps. You're very emo tonight. <laughs> and as she went into the night, into the darkness, all alone. <laughs> Sad I'm not sitting by you. No, I think everyone thinks I'm your wife. It's funny, you can see people are confused. They're like, which one is the wife and which one is like just the third we're, we're wheel. Back to I our, look we're, more like the third wheel, honestly. We're back to our... She doesn't um, even look like me. And we don't look alike, so it's like it really could be either one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Our last night in France is ending on a sweet note. We are actually going to the gelato place that we went to the last time we were in this part of the region in Nice. And we actually forgot the name of this place and we were just Googling places at this hour that are open. And we ended up at the same place that we went to last time. We were meant to return to this amazing gelato place. So Amari is very excited. Amari, what ice cream do you want? Which one? What flavor? Ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can I do? Mm. Yum. With the mint chocolate. Okay. Okay. Cheers. That's my favorite. Favorite ice cream. I ever. got a lot more. Yeah. Hey, you did. <laughs> Shake a booty. Shake a booty. Shake a booty. Shake a booty. You are the, you're the MVP because I love you. even when I've felt like I'm you like, planned the whole trip, you did everything. Like, you got us from point A to point B. Trip. Did I mess this up? You you were very gracious and encouraging, and you're enjoying your trip. You can't I'm, mess up yeah. a trip when you're with the people you love. Well, I just want to say Mom. yes. Amari is calling. You know what? Your feet. You've been barefoot 95 percent of this trip. I gotta go home and get you a real pedicure, the you deluxe. Know, the other day you were like, I've had, I've taken like family trips to Kurdistan for a few months at a time. You're like, so I'm good with this long trip. And yeah. I was like, wow, maybe you're, maybe you're better at it than me. You know, we took. Exactly what we're talking about. You, Amari, you will not <laughs> whine. You need to be patient and you need to be sweet. Okay. You wait for mama. She's almost done. Okay. We love you, okay? She's crying because she's constipated. <laughs> Wait, oh, real? are you sure? <laughs> Wait, what was I saying? Yes, growing up, we would go to Kurdistan every other summer, and when we would go there, we would park our butts there, literally, for, like, the whole summer. And so I, it kind of taught me how to adapt to new places, but also just not feel the pressure that every day has to be this larger-than-life day where it's, it's like packed to the brim and you have to do all these things. Life is a beautiful, beautiful thing that is meant to be lived, it's meant to be cherished, and it's meant to 
be loved. And it's like, this trip has just shown me how to love my life more and to be more connected to our life, our kids, in the midst of even the craziest days where we were homesick or feeling like, oh, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna do? Or, you know, seeing the inbox just piling up. It's like, no, we chose to tuck away. And I think, and I hope that if anything, you guys have been following us along on this trip that we would hope that you guys, even if you can't travel across the world, we just hope that you would be inspired to just grasp the life that's in front of you and just to be present in it, like fully present, like just drench yourself Chelsea. in the now, you know? I'm sorry, that road said Chelsea. Back in Bern, it's a rainy night. I'm running out of clothes, so. So cozy, rainy night vibes. Although we've come to the end of this trip. You be the other person in the group. I'm tired. What are you trying to do on this last day, my dear? On this last day, I would love to just take it easy as we prepare for a very long travel. Just make sure that we pack and get any last minute gifts. Have a great last dinner, maybe just like somewhere nice get a workout in because wow. I need to tucker myself out before the long flight and maybe do some shopping and make a baby with you. <laughs> hey, how is that? Look at her face, poor baby. I know. Teeny, how how's that? that? How much of that on your face was Amari and how much was you scratching it, moving your hair out of your eyes? <laughs> It's a it perfect feels like fall a day. Crisp fall day, like like it's Halloween or something. Yeah. It's just cozy. <laughs> She's scared of the birds. It's perfect. It's sixty degrees. Mm -hmm. these, these, bir these birds are evil. They only want food, and they will. They will They're go sweet. For it. Sad. This is it. We don't want to go. Don't make me. Take it in one last time. Why are you emo? Yeah. It's amazing what can happen when you, you know, when you just leave your life to go on an adventure. This has just been, it's been so good for our family to be here. I've never felt more, like, connected to life, even in the chaos. <laughs> so happy we came. I felt like when the bells went off, it was kind of like, you know, it was kind of like, this is it, you know, it's like our time is ending here and we're going home. I'm leaving here with so much more than what I came with, you know, and it's not nothing material. It's a wealth of memories, connection, just being so connected to life and I feel refreshed. I feel recharged. Aww. I feel more connected to you and our marriage. I love you. I'm just so happy we came. Holy Spirit is here. Life is good. God is good. Thank you, Switzerland. Thank you, France. Thank you, Italy, for the one night we were there for bringing our family just more connection and joy and memories that honestly we'll never forget. Nostalgia. Look at this reel that I made this video when we came in 2019 in that spot right there. And I want to go create it with Amari.